Yes, ma'am, I'm next. Yes, ma'am, I'm next. How you doing, ma'am? Um, is this Eternal Affairs uh, for Memphis, Tennessee? Is this Eternal Affairs? Yes, ma'am, I want to come down here and file a report. What kind of report I want to file? I want to file a report of black-on-black -black crime and racism in the Memphis Police Department. Yes, ma'am. Who told you to come down here and file it? Nobody. Uh, God put it on my heart to come down here and file this report against the Memphis Police Department for having black-on-black -black crime. Yes, ma'am. You do know racism is against the law, don't you? Okay. <laughs> no, ma'am, I didn't write nothing down to bring down here. I just came down here because I felt that I had to come down here and talk to somebody to find out why so much racism going on and black-on-black -black crime going on in the Memphis Police Department. What exactly do I mean? I'm talking about Tyree niggas that just got killed by those five police officers that's up under y'all guidance and y'all jurisdictions through eternal affairs. Do I have any details? <laughs> you asking me, have you not seen the video of what happened to Tyree? Did you not see what they did to him? What you say, ma'am? You say you still need it. You, it still got to be documented. My conversation still got to be written down. I didn't write it down. Yes, ma'am. You can, you can write it down for me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right here while you go get your pencil and paper. Yes, ma'am. You ready? Okay. My name is The Real Jonathan Stewart on YouTube. Yes, I'm a black male. Yes, ma'am. 210 pounds. Five, nine and a half, ready at five, ten. Yes, ma'am. Brown eyes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Pearly white teeth. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You want me to tell my story? Okay. I want to tell you a story. And I want you to listen to me. And I want you to listen to yourself. This is a story about a young man coming home from FedEx after working a long, hard shift. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Tyree Nichols, you see, you know who I'm talking about now, right? I want you to picture this young man driving in his car, coming home from a long, hard work. He worked all day, all night. And he was driving his car. Yes, ma'am. And all of a sudden, a car pulled up next to him. Two men jumped out of the car, ran with their guns out, pointed at him through his window. He opened his door and he put his hands up and he said, what's going on? And they told him to get out the car. And if he didn't get out the car, they was going to blow his motherfucking head off. So he got out the cars. Are you writing this down? When he got out the car, he proceeded to follow their every instruction 
that they gave him that he was supposed to follow. They threw him down on the ground and he proceeded to ask, what did I do? Out of all of the cars that you pulled over on the street in Memphis, Tennessee, why did you pull me over? What have I done? Please tell me, what have I done? They proceeded to grab him and throw him down and started to wrestle him to the ground like a professional WWE wrestler. Once they got him down on the ground, they started to physically harm him. Yes, ma'am, you, you can get another piece of paper. Once they got him on the ground and physically harmed him, they proceeded to choke him and strangle him like no man has ever been choked or strangled in their life. He knew his life was in danger. He knew he was going to wind up on the concrete deck just like George Floyd. So he jumped up and he started running for his dear life. They attempted to taste him, but the taste didn't connect with his skin. When he started to run, all of a sudden he looked up and there come four more police officers just jumped up out of nowhere and they ran and tackled him and they told him, put your hands behind your back. Can you imagine how scared he was, how frightened he was just coming from work? Pulled him out of his car, beat him down to the ground. He take off running, they tackle him around the corner. His body laid on that ground and they started to stomp his head in the ground. And they stomped his head and they stomped it and they stomped it. Have you ever seen a movie, Minister Society, when Cain started stomping that boy's head and his head was bouncing off the ground like a basketball? That's how it was. But it wasn't just one man. It was four people stomping his head at one time. Can you imagine the swelling of his brain that was going? He was developing aneurysms that was never supposed to be inside of his brain after they stomped his brain in the ground. They picked up his flimsy. Yes, ma'am, I'm going to get another paper. They picked up his flimsy body off the ground and they proceeded to punch him in his rib cage and pretended as if he was a rag doll. They threw him back down to the ground and they stomped him more and they picked him up. At this point, I know he was unconscious. They proceeded to stomp him and beat him and pick him up and they uppercutted him. And once they beat the living life out of him, they threw him back down. And all of a sudden, one of the police officers came from behind a car and they kicked him in his head. And when they kicked him in his head right then, he was brain dead and there was no more brain action going. His brain was no longer having activity because of they kicked him in his head. They picked him up again. Ma'am. You need to dry your eyes because I didn't come down here to watch you cry. I come down here to file a statement against the black on black crime, the racism in the Memphis Police Department. You need to get it together till I finish. They picked him up and they took that steel baton, the same one they used when they beat Rodney King. They took the back of that baton and they jabbed it in his forehead and caved his forehead in and they proceeded to strike him over and over again in his face with that baton and then they let his lifeless little body drop to the ground. 911 was called when they came. They just looked at his body laying there. But 
triple four nine one one can get there. They took a picture of him laying down on that ground, body lifeless. And he was laying down on that ground. And the last words that came out of his mouth, he cried for his mama. He said, Mama. And then his soul left his body and went to heaven. He was no longer alive. They put him in the back of the ambulance. And then they took him to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, they passed the county morgue. They could have just dropped his body off at the county morgue because he was already dead. They didn't have to get to the hospital to run no test to know that those five police officers had killed that black man named Tyree Nicholas. That's why I want to come down here and ask you why there's so much racism going on down here in the Memphis Police Department. It is because I can promise you this. If Tyreek was white, he'll still be alive.